now than more people saying it. Well, the, the point is, how can they project holograms of that size? Here, any... that, and therein lies the problem, because people are, uh, when you say hologram, they're thinking of a Walt Disney little pixie dancing around in a little um, um, darkness area. Uh, that's all they know about holograms. They don't know that 20 years ago, uh, we could project a hologram uh, with uh, heat, uh, noise, light, speed, anything we wanted, anywhere. And uh, <clears throat> we use that on 9-11. Uh, the right now, the television industry is ready uh, to bring out uh, television uh, quality programs that you could put right on your desk. And you have a little, <clears throat> a little thing here. It, you can raise it up like this. I mean, you can enlarge it. Uh, you can bring it down to small, you can move it over there, you can move it over there, wherever you want. And it looks just like, there. and you can stand all around it and see from all sides. <clears throat> and uh, the Japanese, uh, a year ago, announced that not only do they have that, but they, uh, they have it, um, uh, they have touchy-feely 3D holograms that you can touch it. Uh, Ten years ago, they invited uh, <clears throat> 30 of the uh, top TV uh, industrials producers and stuff and uh, similar to that they took them into a uh, small theater uh, that accommodated about 40 or 50 people and sat them down and they said the future of television a normal light like that the lights didn't go out and the guy comes from behind the curtain he looked uh, maybe uh, well over 60 uh, white hair uh, glasses uh, when he started talking is obviously uh, Eastern European uh, with an accident <clears throat> he started talking about uh, the TV, how the uh, the uh, tubes were initially made, the cathode ray tubes, and uh, how it developed into this and that and so on. And it, as he's talking, he gets off the podium, walks up one aisle, down that aisle, looks at the audience, takes off his glasses, cleans them, walks up one aisle, down another aisle, gets back up on the podium. Everybody, by about this time, everybody's getting bored of stuff they've already heard. And he says, uh, well, um, I want to thank you very much. And then just turned him off like that in front of everybody. <laughs> wow. It's just like what you're saying. But this is what they can do. <clears throat> but they can't bring it in right now because it's too close to 9-11. People are going to associate, you know, when they were yelling at John Lear, you know, five years ago saying this was possible and saying it's impossible. There has to be a screen. There has to be a crackdown. There has to be something we can project it on. You know, it's bullshit. They don't know what's going on or how things develop, so... John, I'm disturbed. What? I mean, you've 